Hello everybody, this is Rita Holmes, Independent Demonstrator with Stampin' Up. I am here to bring you a uh, another sliding lock card. This is the last of the three parts that I was going to do. And I am going to bring that to you. I'm just making sure my um, camera is in view to where you will see everything. But anyway, I am going to bring you this card right here called a sliding lock card. But before I do that, I just want to show you this is my information with my host code, my Facebook group where you were where, where you will find my um, PDFs for my cards, which for this one is here. And it gives you the pictures, gives you the supplies, and gives you the directions that I used. So it is a PDF over at Stamp Crazy VIP in the files section. If you would like to, to get that, that would be great. I also am doing a monthly newsletter, and um, that can also be um, gotten on my Facebook page, or it can be on my, um, or my Facebook group. And on my business page, I also put it. It's um, Stamp Crazy by Rita Holmes. I just started doing it, which it'll list all of um, some of the savings that's going on right now, just the different things, and um, that just to get information out to you. The biggest thing I want to tell you about is our savings are in bloom is a sale that's going on right now from March 1st to the 31st where you save 20% off of the mini stamp and cut and boss machine and some select bundles, which um, I have all of the bundles listed here that um, you can get, which is a, a good thing. So they're all listed and um, you, you could be able to see that. You can also go to my online store and see it there. And that is ritaholmes.stampinup.net. If you don't have a Stampin' Up! demonstrator, I'd love to be able to help you with that. Um, so you can just let me know about that. You can catch me here. You can do it, um, make a comment. You can go to my Facebook page. You can email me at ritaholmes0611 at gmail.com. We also have this Waves of Ocean that is... Um, going on right now. It is available from March 1st to, to the 2nd of May, and um, it will be in the new catalog, but not all of the items. The stamp set and the dies will be in the new catalog. These will not. These are while supplies last down here, okay? So I just wanted to show you that, and I can actually show you the stamp set in person. It is right here, and then the dies are right here. <coughs> Excuse me. You get a couple waves. You get some, um, like, tags of different things. You get to cut out the pelican and the birds, and then we have some clouds and that in there. So there's a lot of different things you can use in there. The papers are really busy, but at the same time, um, they're good ocean papers. It just depends on if you like busy or not, which is right here. Let me flip this open. And these are the papers. So the back sides are a main color. They look kind of watercolory with spots. This is the other side. You can use it as waters. You can use it for a lot of different things actually, but there's the backs and then the fronts. It's got a lot of nice colors in it. Some of my favorite colors, let me say. Especially this one's got a lot of my favorite colors. This is the one I said it looks like you're looking under a microscope and seeing the little, the little amoebas and stuff in there. So that takes me way back to science class in high school, which was a long, 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 long time ago. So these are the papers. And then they have some foils that are really pretty. They come in like Night of Navy, Coastal Cabana, and then a matte silver. 
And they have some jewels, which are right here, that are really, really pretty. You have, like, Night of Navy, um, Pacific Point, then it looks like Balmy Blue, Coastal Cabana, Bermuda Bay, and Granny Apple Green. That's what they look like to me. They're not all listed as those colors. They only list, like, three. But... That is some of the stuff that is going to be around for you to see. Back to our savings in bloom. I'll just show you. Here's the flyer on it so that you can actually see some of the stamp sets that are on there. If you or the bundles. And if there's some bundles on there that you were thinking about and didn't get, this would be the month to do that. So I just wanted to show you all of that. And now I'm going to get started on my card. Like I said, I've been doing a... I did two other... The last two weeks were on slide and lock cards, different things. And I wanted to go ahead and show you that today. Now, the paper I'm using is the um, Flowering Fields, which is all the tulip paper. And um, here's the pack of it. It's got... They're more solid on one side. And then on... Every every main side has tulips on it, except for that one. That's the only one that doesn't. And there's the one I'm using. And then there, just different, different tulip papers. So that's my main focal point on my card. The stamp set I'm using is Eden's Garden. I'm using the Sending Hugs on the front. And then my heart is tied to yours. Tug if you need anything on the back. I've used the layering circles for my circles right here. And then there's a actually a circle on the back. When you open this up, you'll see a circle right here. And that's what makes my sliding mechanism right here. And then the front of the card, I didn't waste anything. What I punched out here, I put on my card right here. So... I don't have any waste on my card this today, per se. Well, if I can get that pushed back, probably already wore it out. But anyway, I'm using the circles for that. And you can use any size. You can, you can put anything here. You could put a die cut, a flower, whatever. Um, and then you could make your mechanism. And you, if you wanted your paper like the white to show through, then you could just use a circle the same size as this. I didn't want, I wanted it to show the green, like the card, the background of the card, the main card is. So I put that bigger circle to hide that white. But you can play around with it and there's a lot you can do with it. I'm gonna move this out of my way. We're gonna set this over here to the side to hope you can see it. I don't get it too much out of view. I'm going to bring in my um, paper trimmer, and what we are going to do, we are going to score. Now, with this card, you only get one out of a piece of cardstock. It's five and a half by ten and a half. So, um, you will get one card plus a strip that you can use for cutting die cuts or whatever. So I'm going to turn this over, and what we're going to do, and the reason why I didn't score it first is I wanted to show you. We are going to score this, and we're not going to score it regular four and a quarter. We're going to bring this back just a little bit, and we're going to score so that score line is not right up against the closing of the card. And I'll show you what I mean by that in just a second. So I am going to go ahead and score right here. And then I'm going to score again at... Um, Eight, eight and a half. I don't even remember my directions after making the card. Isn't that sad? So I'm going to eight and a half. I have to, I want to double check myself. And I'm going to score again. And this is going to be how our card is going to open and close. And with that, let me put my arm away. I don't think I'm going to need that anymore, but I will need the trimmer. What it is, is here's my score line, and then here's a score line, and that's going to fold. Before I fold that, I have to make a cut to get my diagonal right here, to get this diagonal. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to, and I turn my paper 
over this way so I can have this to the outside. And I'm going to cut it. I'm going to go in one inch and make a mark. So I'm going to come right here. And I'm going to take a pencil. And I'm just going to make a mark right here. Okay. Because what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring this down. I'm going to leave that mark right in the cutting line of my trimmer. And then I'm going to bring the bottom of it. I'm going to turn it to where that is lined up in the cutting line of the trimmer. I'm going to bring that down and I'm going to cut. And that is my score line. And remember last week I showed you the trick that if that has, you can fill where you've cut, you can take your bone folder and you can just smooth that all out and you can't even tell where there was a cut. Okay, while we've got this out, I'm going to bring in this piece of paper and this is going to go, let me fold this and that way you'll be able to see it now. That is right in, right before my score line right there. So I'm going to take and fold both of those over and I'm going to Let's just go ahead and use this. And so what I'm gonna do is I'm going to take this and I gotta cut it down because it's one and three quarter to fit at the bottom. And I gotta trim that like at three quarters, okay? So what I'm going to do is I want that at a three quarter inch mark. There. I'm going to, since this is one and three quarters, I'm going to bring this in at one inch again. Make sure I got it straight. Bring in my pencil. Make a little mark. And I'm going to do exactly what I just did the last time. And then I have my diagonal piece for the front of my card. Now we're ready to put this away. So I can actually go ahead and glue this on here, which I'm gonna go ahead and do. That way it'll be out of my way. So let's glue this on. I will tell you that I am using a punch to, to do my cutout piece right here. And I'm actually, um, it's a retired punch because we don't have a punch, a like a window punch, or this is called the classic label, but there's the window punch that we had. They're both retired, but they're great for this card. You can use a die, uh, a die cut, but what you would do to cut, you'd have to open your card so it would just cut right in here. And then you would have to open your card so it would just cut in here, but you would have to make sure they match. With the punch, it's really easy to do, and I'm gonna show you how to do that. So this is what we've got. I'm gonna take my other piece, which is cut five and a quarter by four, and we're going to layer that right here, okay? So let's go ahead and layer that. I don't think I'm in, I gotta remember to move my papers up to for you to see me in the camera. So we've got that attached there. I love the tulip paper. Especially these oranges and yellows, they're like my favorite color. Okay, I'm gonna put the glue away for a minute. And I'm gonna show you, here's the classic label punch that I'm using. If you like punches, you've probably bought it because it was a great punch to have. So what I'm gonna do, and this is why it's easy to use punches. You put that punch all the way in to where 
it hits the bottom of the punch where it won't go any further. Move this to where you only see maybe a fourth to a third of the um, car, the cardstock in that in there. Make sure you got it down and just punch. Okay. Then what I'm going to do, because I want to line that up over here, I'm going to take and I'm going to close that and I'm going to hold it. And then I'm just going to draw me a line. And what I did is just kind of drew that little arrow type right there. The little point. And I'm going to take my punch now and I'm going to put it all the way in. And I'm going to line that where I made that mark. I'm going to line it up. And I'm going to just punch it. I'm going to make sure I got my pencil line off. You can see it here, so I'm going to erase it. Because I'm going to use this piece. And I always use a white eraser. Because pink erasers tend to leave a little residue on there. And I don't like that. So I always use a white eraser. Eraser, And since that pencil has one on the end, we're going to use it. I'm going to move this up to the top until I'm ready to use it. And now we are ready to mainly stamp and put this together. Now the only thing I'm going to stamp on is this circle and then the inside of my card right here. So let's go ahead and do that. And I am going to do that in Evening Evergreen because that is one of the colors in my card. Although I use Soft Succulent for my card base. And this will give a nice little contrast. So I'm just going to ink up the Sending Hugs. And I'm going to stamp it on the circle. So there's our circle. Then I'm going to bring in the, it says, my heart is tied to yours. Tug if you need anything. I think that's such a cute saying to go with sending hugs. And I'm going to just stamp this towards the top. And that's all our stamping we're doing today. Kind of cheating on making a stamped card, right? Okay, so now what I can do is I'm going to take, I, I did a scallop circle just a little bit bigger than my round circle, so you can see a little bit of it. That's out of pumpkin pie. That's one of the colors in the paper. And I'm just going to Put that on my right there and I'm going to go ahead and glue this into the center we're going to get all this out of the way and then we're going to do our card shut how's that do our locking mechanism so let's go ahead and add this to the inside and I got a little spot of green right there. Don't want it. Take my sand eraser. There we go. That's gone. I love that thing. <sighs> I'm playing out dust on that piece. I don't know what that's about. Okay, let's take our little piece that we had punched out. Because we're not going to waste today, we're going to just add this to our card to the inside. Make sure you got your little tulips. If you can tell that they're tulips, make sure you got them right side up. And then that just is the inside of our card. Okay, now what we're going to do is we are going to do our mechanism to close. Now what I did is I punched a circle that is big enough to cover right there the so I could have green. Now I could have it be white like this if I wanted to and put this on here 
and have a white space. But I kind of thought the green kind of, you know, made it a little bit, I don't know, more attractive maybe. So I'm going to open it up and I'm going to lay this circle over that punched out area. And what I want to do is I want to take removable tape and I am, let me see if I can get these pieces up and just use them again. Yeah, I can. I saved them just for that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a piece, I'm going to put two pieces on. I want it to hold it down for me while I do my next part. So let's put that down. Whoops. Let's move that over. There we go. Okay, I've got that down. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to shut that. And I'm going to shut this. I'm going to bring in dimensionals. With this particular punch, it's wide enough I can use dimensionals without cutting them. And since this has the little point area, kind of like what our dimensionals do, you know, our dimensionals have this little point right here. I'm going to take and I'm going to put this in there with the point. I'm not going to put it on there. I'm going to put it towards that. Leave a little bit of room to where this is going to open. Whoops. It's coming off. My little round thing's coming off. I don't want it to do that yet. I like putting two. You can put one. But I like doing two. So I am going to, I think, yeah, I had a dimensional over there lose its paper. I wanted to put it back on. So what I want to do is I'm putting two. I'm going to put one right next to the other. It will cover this circle and it'll hold it really, really well. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take and put my circle in there. I'm going to close my card to do that. No, I'm not. That was wrong. I could, but I got to get those little white pieces of paper off. I'm going to close my card and see about where I want this. And I think I just want to maybe center that over those dimensionals. So I'm just going to put that on, press it down, open this up, take these little white pieces off because this is my sliding mechanism. I don't need it, need, I need those off so that now we slide. See that? So, and that is hitting the side. Okay, if this hits the side, and because I'm using such a big circle, it's because of where I cut that. That's going to be okay. We are going to put this under here. And then that is our sliding mechanism. And then you can just slide it and open it. And then just put it back together and slide. And that is all there is to making that card. It's very, very simple. Now what I did is I took some of the Evening Evergreen uh, jewels that is in the main catalog and we are going to add a few of those i'm going to use the bigger ones just because i want to use these kind of up so i'm going to put like you don't want them in the way of the sliding part so you're going to have to like stick stick one over here and i think i'll stick my other one like right maybe right there and then when that slides over, you have one down here. Or you don't have to use those at all if you don't want to. But I always like to put a little something on my card. So there is the card and you just open it. And there you go. And then you close it. And the more you do this, the easier it gets. You know, the sliding will slide easier and easier. Not that it's hard right now. But that is my sliding, it's called the Sliding Lock Fun Fold Card. And I do have all of the 
supplies with all the dimensionals of how you cut everything on the PDF. If you want to go over to my Facebook group, which is Stamp Crazy VIP, and um, you can join that just to pull all the PDFs. I've got over two years worth of PDFs doing videos basically every week. So there is a lot. There's over, what would that make it? Two weeks over probably 110. I probably have at least 110 um, PDFs over there that are free to anybody that watches my videos and joins my group. And um, also, like I said, if you don't have a Stampin' Up! demonstrator, I would love to help you. There's my host code with my online store at readahomes.stampinup.net. And... Um, Please give me a thumbs up if you liked this video. And also, if you would share it for me, I would just hit the share button. would be great. Hit the subscribe button and describe and get notifications of when I'm on. And it's kind of sporadic, really sporadic right now because I'm um, um, in the process of working with my sister. She's um, right now in rehabilitation in a nursing home, but... I think she's going to be transferred over into long-term care, and so I'm having to um, do a lot of work with that, with her and stuff. So it's taking up a little bit more of my time, which is fine. It's family. That's what I'm supposed to be doing, And uh, but my love for stamping keeps me stamping. So anyway, I will see you next time, and you guys have a blessed day. Bye.